Two fights, one draw, one controversial decision. You know, somebody said to me, I don't know how or who won the fights. They were that close, but somebody was down four times in two fights. Yo sigo pensando que nosotros ganamos. So it did bother you when Juan Ma had a shirt made up that said, I beat Manny Pacquiao twice. Uh, yes, it did. Yes, it did. I mean, but uh, that, that was lying. Both camps thought they had won their last two encounters. Both fighters are ready to battle for the third time. My strategy, my, my techniques, my, my balance of my body, uh, my footwork, it's, it's perfect. I need, I need to prepare myself very hard for this fight. This is what I want to fight. He wants to win, I want to win. While everyone expects another close bout, the key to the third will rest on how much both boxers have evolved their craft since they last met. Manny has evolved into a different fighter. Completely different fighter. He wasn't the same fighter that he is now. He is much more elusive now. The big difference is uh, first my right hand. Now he's got a right hand. He, he's much better defensively moving his head. When he fought Marcus at the beginning, he basically just fought him with a left hand. Most importantly, his right hand developed into a weapon, so he's no longer a one-handed fighter. So it's a different Manny Pacquiao, Pacquiao that we've seen two times before. On the other hand, Marquez will rely on his fame skills as a counterpuncher. Juan Manuel Marquez is the greatest counterpuncher in boxing today, and probably the greatest counterpuncher in the last 30 years. I think he's got the style uh, to give Manny probably the most problems out of anybody. As well as having evolved into a more aggressive, more powerful fighter. Um, I, I know it's going to be tough because he, one thing we know, he will come to fight. He's quick, he's got power. And if there's a fighter built for the express purpose of defeating Pacquiao, his name is Juan Manuel Marquez. Juan Manuel presents a puzzle for Manny Pacquiao that the truth is that he has not solved really in 24 rounds. He is just an incredible counterpuncher. I don't necessarily think that um, Manny has really been fighting counterpunchers since Juan Manuel. So you really have the style that's going to be difficult for Manny. And everybody in the boxing world knows Juan Manuel Marquez and what a competitor he is and how tough a fight uh, he brings to Manny Pacquiao. But Freddie Roach claims his fighter will feign a lot, drawing out Marquez as the aggressor and thereby out counterpunching the counterpuncher. And that's the strategy we're going in right now, and uh, um, Nacho knows it, and there's nothing he can do about it. Still, after two incredibly tough and entertaining fights, Pacquiao's corner is not expecting an easy go of it. Getting up from three knockdowns the first time and then one knockdown on the second time, just he has more balls in the world than anyone. Marquez is a tough fighter. His uh, fighting spirit is always there. And even though Roach's fighter sees himself as a man of the people. Thank you, Manny Pacquiao! I started boxing since when I was young. I was 12 years old and until now, this is my job. I mean, I love to entertain people. He also has revenge on his mind. I, I think he has a little resentment of them saying they get robbed and go to the Philippines and crying like that. And I think maybe we'll knock him out this time. Marquez's corner doesn't agree. Porque Juan tiene la técnica para dominar a a Pacquiao técnicamente la la fuerza no, pero pero lo contragolpea y este. If this third fight against one another is to be the defining story of their boxing careers, both Juan Manuel Marquez and Manny Pacquiao know just how they want that story to end. Well, I think, I think all fighters want to have a definitive ending to a fight. Um, and I think all of them want challenges. And I think that Juan Manuel wants the challenge. He wants the recognition and the challenge, and as does Manny.